Baxter, what are you doing? You're being a shit. Really? Really? Baxter? This is why we can't have nice things. Good morning, everybody! So, guess what happened overnight? Yes, we hit over 500 subscribers and I am so excited, I can't even explain. Um, actually, it was like 12.30 in the morning and I got out of the shower and I refreshed my YouTube count because of course I have a YouTube count app on my phone. And I said 500 and I started screaming. Oh my God, I cannot believe it. I have been working so hard for this, trying to produce like really, really good content and stuff that people would like. So I'm just super excited. And I have to say, I owe it all to the Chris and Holly show because they gave me a huge shout out yesterday. And ever since then, I every time I refresh my account, I have so many more subscribers. It is so cool and so fun. And I just wanna say thank you guys so much for shouting me out. It is making my channel grow and I'm so much closer to getting monetization, which is really, really cool because the new YouTube rules are really stupid. But anyway, um, most of you guys are probably from the Kristen Holly show. Um, but if you don't know who they are, you should definitely subscribe to them because they are awesome. And um, they're just like a really cool family. Um, and they just like share the life. Bleh. They share their life with you. And they go dumpster diving and they have two kids. They're awesome. I love them. So go check them out. Um, but otherwise, I'm trying to think what has happened because I didn't vlog yesterday. Um, oh, Mexico update. So we did stop by the travel agency on Saturday. It is Monday now. Um, and we're like, all right, so what's, what's the deal? Because we hear there's a travel advisory and travel ban for the U.S. Um, people that are down, the government that's down there, uh, and she was like, well, it's a level two travel advisory. I was like, well, I, I'm, I'm dumb. I don't know what that means. Explain it to me. So apparently Paris and the Bahamas are also a level two. So basically I'm just not going to go on any ferry while I'm there. Um, because that's where the terroristic um, attacks were happening. They were bombing ferries. But as far as I know, nobody died. I know um, there were injuries, which totally is awful. But as far as I know, nobody has passed away. And I didn't hear that it was Taurus. So Mexico, not to be like that way, but it probably was drug related, I'm thinking. And um, I don't sell drugs, so I'm hoping I'll be fine. <laughs> So the plan is still to go. We leave Sunday and I do think I'm going to vlog while I'm down there. Probably not like sit down and vlog like this, but I definitely want to capture a lot of what's going on the resort, the room, just anything that kind of is happening. Um, but it probably won't be in the same like sit down style like it is right now because I do definitely want to like recharge. That's what the vacation's about. Um, so yeah, we are planning on still going. I will take you guys along and it should be pretty cool. Otherwise, I don't think anything else is new. I think that's about it. So we are on our way. And when I say we, Buddy is in the seat next to me. I have, um, I learned with Charlotte to bring the doggy seat belt. So not only he's safe and I'm safe. So he is strapped in right now. Oop, he just fell. He can still look up. going to the vet so hopefully this is a, only the second time he's ever been ooh, in the car so I'm hoping he doesn't like get car sick like Baxter but we are on our way to the vet because mr. buddy has been coughing and I know I've mentioned this in other vlogs oh now he turned my four ways on no feet have to stay over there yeah I gotta stay over there um, he's been coughing and it doesn't sound like kettle cough because that's like a very distinctive cough um, and I know I've mentioned this before, but I know I have like 150 new subscribers, so I figured I would explain it so you might understand what's going on. Um, some other causes of coughing in dogs is 
um, heart disease as well as lung issues. So he is 11, so I'm thinking it might be one of those two because he already is in kidney failure. Um, he is my foster dog, if you don't know. Um, I fell in love with him at the shelter and then we found out that he is sick. So they gave me the option of either fostering him or adopting him. Fostering, they pay for all of his medical stuff. Um, if we adopt, then we are responsible for that. So obviously, I went with them. The only downside is when they say that they're done giving care, it's time to put him down. But I asked, um, I was like, okay, so heaven forbid it happens. You guys want to put him down and I'm not ready. Can I, ooh. He just totally body slammed the side of the car. I was like, can I adopt him then? They're like, oh, absolutely. So really, I feel like it's a win-win because if they're done providing care, I can still adopt him and he can keep living. But I don't know. We'll see how that plays. So far, they've been like really annoying when trying to get his food. But we're on our way. It's actually snowing right now, which is absurd because I didn't even know it was supposed to snow. So hopefully we don't run into bad weather because um, I have a really tiny sports car that's not very good in the snow. So hopefully I don't get stuck. Especially with Buddy Boy in the car who is sliding everywhere because his legs don't really work. Are you looking all around? He is literally, he's looking out the window. It's so cute. Oh, I love him. All you can see is his butt. That doesn't turn anymore. Oh well. What's out there, buddy? And we honestly didn't get the best news at, <laughs> he keeps turning on my four ways, at the vet or the shelter or whatever. Um, so he's been, like I've been saying, he's been coughing and unfortunately I am correct in my guessing that it had to do with his heart or lungs. It kind of has to do with both. So um, he actually has a heart murmur and heart disease, which they failed to um, notice before I took him home, which honestly is kind of unfair to him and to me, but whatever. Um, so because of the heart disease, there is fluid building up around his heart and it's pressing on his lungs, which is causing him to cough. Um, luckily he only threw up one time, but he is gagging a lot, so I do feel bad about that. Um, so. Yeah, they ran his blood and his urine. Obviously, they don't get the test back immediately on that, so she's gonna call me back later today. Right now, we're just trying to make him comfortable. They, I asked, I was like, well, how much time do you think he has? They don't know. Um, he, hopefully, he has a while, but the issue is, so usually with a heart, heart disease, you just put him on medication and they're good, you know? He's like, last a while. But because of his kidney disease, he can't be on any medication. 
um, because his kidneys can't process it and it would actually cause his kidneys to fail. So once his heart disease and his heart murmur get too bad, it'll be time to um, put him down so he's not in pain. So I'm a little sad. Um, I knew I knew I didn't have much time with Buddy or that I don't have much time with Buddy. I just wasn't expecting it to be like we're, we're monitoring them this closely to see if we need to put him down already. So that makes me very, very sad for obvious reasons. Buddy boy, can you please chill? But um, going to the shelter really stressed him out. As you can tell, he's stress panting now. So I feel bad about that. And uh, so they just told me to spoil him and they'll have more information for me later today, hopefully. Um, I also asked about food. Um, they're ordering me three cases, which is awesome. Um, so that- In a half mile, take the exit. So three cases of food is awesome because one case, as I've said before, lasts me 12 days because there's 12 cans of case and with us going to Mexico, I needed another case. So yeah, I, I'll pick that up on Thursday, I think she was saying, um, and I don't have to call to make sure it's in, I just stop in and they'll give me three cases, which would be awesome. So I guess she's placing her order today, I think, I don't, I don't know. So I was excited about that. So now we spoil the living hell out of little Buddy, keep him comfy, let him sleep, let him play, let him eat whatever he wants. And that was another thing I mentioned to her. Um, she was like, well, what is he eating? I was like, well, he's eating his prescription um, food, but he also really likes my dog's dry food. And he's old and he's dying and I'm not going to not let him eat it. And she was like, yeah, let him eat it. I was like, okay, cool. Um, because. I mean, like, really, I'm not, if that's what he wants, that's what he's getting. Um, but she was super nice. I haven't worked with her before. I still have yet to meet the actual vet. I think she's always just spaying and neutering dogs because there's always new dogs coming and going. So I think that's why, but I don't know. So we're on our way back home. Um, I'm getting hungry, but I have like Chinese leftovers I think I'm gonna eat, so I'm not gonna grab anything on the way home. Even though I was thinking about getting fries for Buddy, but at this point I think I just need to get him home. Maybe I'll bring him fries home later. So, back in the car. Currently, the next stop I have to go to, well, I'm leaving my house now. So, up next is gas because I'm almost on E. And actually, I forgot to check if I have the credit card that I usually use. Whatever. I keep. Okay. I don't know if you guys remember, but I set my purse on fire. Um, yeah, so and if you didn't see that, <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose, and I accidentally melted some of my cards, and I, I don't know. So I've lost track of some of them, and others have shrank because they were set on fire, and they're like shrinky dink. If you didn't know, if you set your purse on fire and your um, your cards are in it, they will literally shrink because of the heat. So I didn't know that. I learned that the hard way. But anyway, um, grabbing gas, and then I have three huge trash bags sitting next to me, and a box and a half in the trunk. Literally, my car is full of stuff to go donate. Um, last night, AJ had, well, AJ and I, we both had off, which was really great. So I was like, okay, we have to clean up the house because going away next week and we have a house guest so what do you want to do he's like instead of like doing the actual cleaning why don't we try to get stuff together to get out of the house because his thought was um the more stuff we get out the cleaner it's gonna look so yeah and he is working today and I obviously have off so I, that's why I'm doing it because I have time and he does not 
but he also told me no more diving until we clean up and like get rid of stuff out of the house and I'm like mm -hmm, yeah okay this guy is tailgating me and I really don't understand why because it's not like I'm going that slow actually maybe it's a woman um, <laughs> so then we compromised. I was like, well, what if we just dive for like candy and food and stuff and we won't bring any more like household stuff in because we obviously have enough of that. And he was like, yeah, okay, we can compromise. So that's what marriage is, you guys, compromising. It's super duper fun, let me tell you. So while I'm pumping my gas, uh, I hear the loudest crash I've heard in a very long time and I look over and these two cars just literally ran into each other and they're totally smashed Air airbags deployed everything so I didn't like actually see the accident I just saw like the aftermath so I didn't stick around because I'm, what am I gonna say like oh yeah I heard smashing looked up and then there was a car in the middle of the road that was smashed so and it seemed like several people saw what, what happened, which is good because I really can't help with that. But it was literally like five seconds and their cars were damaged. It was crazy. But where I live, there's a lot of, like there's a main road and then there's a lot of little side roads with stop signs. Duh. But everybody parks on the street. Um, because there's a lot of apartments on that road that I was on. I live back in the neighborhoods, thank God. But with all the traffic, um, it's hard to see around the other cars that are parked if anybody's coming. So actually, there have been times where I've been close to hitting somebody or they've been close to hitting me just because you can't see anything. So they really should change it. They shouldn't let everybody park on the street because it causes accidents. So... Just as I'm feeling sorry for myself because my foster dog might not make it very long, that happens and that kind of like smacks you in, back into reality. Like, it could be worse. He's a dog, he's 11, he's lived a long and hopefully happy life. I'm gonna spoil him as much as I can and it's gonna be okay. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that was the reminder that I needed. Um, I'm still on my way to drop off this donation. I don't know. Can you see? <laughs> I have three trash bags in the front seat with me because my car is toy size. I really need a bigger car. Um, especially <laughs> now that I'm like, I don't know, I'm carrying so much crap with me and doing so much stuff. I really need a bigger car. But that's not happening. Well, that was really fast. It literally took like three minutes and there were two guys there that helped me get everything out of the car, which I always love when that happens because, I don't know, I'm like loading things out of my car. I'm too prissy for that. But now I'm going to CVS. I have to pick up a prescription and there's a couple other little things that I want to grab from there. Um, so on my way to do that and hopefully I don't witness any more car accidents. CVS and headed back home to cuddle with my fur babies. Um, I got, ooh, you need to be in second, not first. I got my prescription, which is good. And then I realized that um, she refilled it for four or five packs and I have an appointment to go in like a month. So I actually might call and reschedule that <laughs> because who wants to go to the lady doctor or sooner than what they need to not me so yeah I'm gonna try to change that <laughs> but I'll probably not do that today because I'm lazy and I hate the phone but on my way home um, I'll show you then everything I got at CVS um, I coupon just a little bit and this wasn't my best couponing trip but that's okay I guess 
that's what's left over of the accident. It hasn't even been an hour and they already cleared it, which is good. It was right here. So, yeah, cars are gone already. Everything's good. Pretty. Oh, let's, do you have to go pee? Come on, let's go pee, pee. Let's go pee. Come on, buddy boy, before you go pee on the floor. Come on. Be released. Okay, so my mini couponing trip. For all of this, I spent six dollars which isn't too bad. I've been able to get Lysol wipes down to 30 cents, like a container. So that wasn't as low as I wanted, but that's okay. Yeah, not too shabby. Is that yummy? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. This is what they gave me for his cough. I have to give her one tablet every 12 hours. Not for you. It's not for you. It's for you. Oh, you're so cute. That's the buddy boy. So I just gave him one now. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. Obviously, I'm not going to give it to him at 3.30 a.m. I'll just give it to him when I wake up. But I kind of wanted him to get his first dose ASAP. <laughs> So now that I have officially hit 500 subscribers, as promised, I'm going to be doing a giveaway and I will be giving away a large flat rate box full of awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. And it's going to be a surprise. It is going to be a mystery box. So if you'd like to enter, comment below, I love Chris and Holly because without them, I wouldn't be able to do this because I wouldn't have hit 500 subscribers. So again, if you want to enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel and comment below, I love Chris and Holly. And then I will be picking the winner in, I don't know if it'll be the next vlog or the following vlog, but either way, large flat rate box full of mystery items. You will absolutely love it. I promise.